Let's take an inside look at how the oil-cooled hydraulic brakes work. The wheel axle and outside ring enclose the brake disc. The multiple disc system consists of alternating brake discs and spacer plates. The spacer plates have splines only on the outside edge. The splines fit into the teeth in the outside ring, allowing the plates to move back and forth but not rotate. The actual brake discs indicated by the crosshatch design are just the opposite. They have splines only on the inside and are attached to the teeth on the inside hub. The brake discs rotate with the wheel axle and also slide back and forth. The complete brake system is built with multiple disc and spacer pairs, each disc rotating with the axle while each spacer plate is held stationary by the outer ring. During operation, cooling oil runs throughout the system and in between each of the discs and plates. Braking activity is controlled by hydraulic pressure. The primary piston is controlled by the hydraulic pressure here and the secondary piston here. During normal machine operation, the secondary spring-activated piston is held in place by high-pressure hydraulic oil. The primary piston is held in place by a combination of retract springs and a slack adjuster. When regular braking is applied, the hydraulic oil behind the primary piston pressurizes. As the pressure increases, the primary piston moves, forcing the spacer plates together and restricting the rotation of the alternating brake discs. When the brake is released, the oil pressure drops and oil begins draining from the piston cavity. The retract springs pull back the piston to a seating determined by the slack adjuster, releasing the pressure on the brake discs. When the parking brake is applied or hydraulic system pressure is lost, the constant high pressure in the lower cavity is released. The big spring activates the secondary piston. This action moves both pistons, forcing the discs together and restricting rotation. The hydraulic oil that cools the brake system enters here. It circulates throughout the braking system. Oil fills the crosshatch grooves in the brake disc, creating an oil film that prevents direct contact between the discs. The sharing action of the oil absorbs the rotational energy and carries heat away, causing the vehicle to stop or slow with no direct contact between rotating surfaces. Brake life is extended significantly. The cooling oil exits the system here. Wet disc brakes are used in elevated sprocket track-type tractors, wheel loaders, and off-highway trucks.